First on Fox, a Halloween costume scaring up plenty of controversy tonight along the Tennessee-Kentucky border. Listen to this. A person dressed as President Obama wearing a straight jacket created enough complaints that one hospital now plans to require all of its people to have diversity training. Fox 17 Sky Arnold live from the Jenny Stewart Medical Center in Hopkinsville, Kentucky with this story tonight. Sky. Well, guys, the diversity training is just the beginning. In addition to that, the hospitals asked all employees to not wear ethnic or political costumes next year. And again, all of this fuss because of this photo right here that's been circulating around town of three employees at last Friday's costume contest. This is exactly what's caused it, and that's the story tonight. We don't know if these employees at Hopkinsville's Jenny Stewart Medical Center were making a joke or a political statement with their Halloween costumes. I think it's funny. But they did get a reaction. It's offensive, yes. Those who fall into the offended category are upset with the portrayal of President Obama in police custody wearing a straight jacket. I think it's very, very offensive and really that shouldn't have happened. First Street Baptist Church pastor C.E. Timberlake says it's wrong to portray any president that way. There are other characters they could they could dress up and put a straight jacket on other than the president of this country. On that, administrators of the hospital agree, releasing a statement saying no matter who the president is, they deserve respect and honor. We uh, see even still today uh, Richard Nixon mass and George W. Bush Mass and Joe Turner is the vice chair of the Christian County Republican Party. And he points out President Obama isn't the first to be made fun of on Halloween. And he believes this costume makes an amusing statement inside a hospital. Couldn't help but think that somewhere in the motive there, there was a, a jab at the uh, so called Affordable uh, Care Act. Now, the hospital tells us because of privacy rules, it can't tell us if any of these three employees received any punishment for the costumes. We should also mention that costume placed third in the contest. We're live in Hopkinsville, Sky Arnold, Fox 17 News. Well, we asked what you think on Facebook tonight. The majority of you say this was all in good fun, and people have poked fun at the president with these types of masks for decades. You can join the debate at Fox, or Facebook.com, Fox Nashville, and we'll have more of your responses a little later in this newscast.